what's your opinion on lady boys? You think you could kill a grown man with one of your most powerful kicks? Um, one of those like tricking kicks? Um, possibly. Like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of like a most powerful kick you can probably do. It's probably just like a simple hook kick. Yeah, you can probably kill someone with that. Um, like if you see like the top level triggers and how like fast they do hook kicks, it's pretty impressive. Do you think you could win in a wrestling match with a gorilla? Um, like I wonder how much like gorillas can actually like deadlift. What about a wrestling match with a black person? <laughs> Why don't you focus more on overhead pressing? Well, um, the main reason really is because I just don't like I just don't like overhead presses. So, like just, I just awful that. That's probably why I don't like it. Um, Maybe I should. Um, like the ratio between my overhead press and uh, bench press is it's not correct. Like uh, I should at least be bent, like um, overhead pressing maybe like 120 to 130 kilos, like based off my bench press. Is there a powerlifting program you recommend the most? Um, well, if you're getting into powerlifting, I would def definitely recommend uh, starting strength. It's like a very good program to start with. Um, if you're kind of like intermediate level lifter. Um, strong list five by five is pretty good. Um, five three one is another good one. Um, I would not recommend anything like a uh, small off. Like um, the volume is just far too high. Um, maybe if you're like if you're an intermediate to advanced lifter, you can use it. But like, it's a very difficult program. The volume is pretty high. I, I'd recommend the small off um, junior for the bench, but not the full small off for the squat. In my opinion, it's just, you know, you, you could be doing um, something easier like a uh, Russian squat program and probably make some more gains. Uh, the Candesho programs, um, they're really good as well, and they're actually um, completely free um, on his website. I looked over them, they're, they're pretty pretty good. Like, uh, his is a six week uh, linear progression um, program for beginners. Um, that looks pretty good. He has a deadlift program, bench, and squat. All good. A gallon of soy milk a day is literally gyno tier, according to studies, at least. Oh, well, what studies? Um, there's only like case studies showing that um, soy intake can cause gynecomastia. There's no like solid evidence for that at all. And uh, another thing as well is like, <laughs> if you did go mad, like uh, you're drinking a load of milk. Uh, milk is extremely estrogenic. Bepis or conch for hypertrophy? Um, Bepis, of course. Um, best drink of all time. So, say you've already completed the workout for the day, but you get urged to lift something or do something. What exercise would you usually do? Like, if you just had to lift, like, choose um, exercises that are not too fatiguing. Uh, like technique focused exercises like if you do an Olympic lifting like so for example you can do um, like uh, dead hang snatches uh, dead hang cleans like um, with those exercises the the load is not that heavy so uh, you can practice uh, technique without um, fatiguing yourself um, yeah just basically like technique exercises but the best thing what's your favorite thing to eat um poof, that's a tough one um, well I had like lentil curry today that's pretty good so maybe that's my new favorite meal i actually posted a recipe on discord if you check it out in your opinion how should you schedule your exercises to get the most out of your workout say you are going to basketball snatch and then bench what would you start with and why yeah that, that's actually uh, like very important so like the exercise you start with in a session is the exercise you're going to make the most gains on so like if you're uh, weakness is the snatch, then you should start off with snatches. If the weakness is your back squat, you should start out with back squats. Like I would recommend for most people to start out with the snatch and clean jerk because you need um, quite a bit of energy to like really focus on the technique. Like it's not good to typically to do um, snatch clean jerk after like heavy squats or you know, like a heavy exercise, heavy compound movement. Because you're just not going to have the mental energy to like focus on um, improving your technique. Speaking of warming up, do you just go to the bar and do a couple of sets and just add weight as you feel more warm, or you do uh, oh geez, constant jumping, or do you do something else? Um, 
can do both. Like, so uh, I'll just do like a general warm up, like where I like stretch my hamstrings and back and every muscle group really um, for about like five to 10 minutes. And then uh, depending on the exercise, yeah, um, I'll just like start warming up the bar. Like, so for a snatch, um, I would just do like loads of like um, different snatch variations, like just hang snatch, um, like sauce press, all that, uh, overhead squat, like probably up to like 60 kilos. Uh, and then after that, I just focus on whatever I do, whether it's like hang snatch, uh, snatch triples or whatever. Do you still take a pea protein supplement or does all your protein come from actual food? Um, I still have that pea protein and the reason I'm like not eating it is because it just tastes awful. Like there's no flavoring at all to it. And it's like, I definitely would not recommend uh, that pea protein from uh, my protein. It's fucking awful. Like if I actually had like a good protein um, in my house that tastes good, um, I would definitely eat it. But yeah, at the moment I'm getting um, all my protein from food. But that's just because I don't have good protein powder. <laughs> How did you get started with the backflip? Well, I learned the backflip totally like the incorrect way. Like just, I learned it by myself. Like when I was a spotter, I was like jumping off my bed onto a mattress. Like uh, I was like jumping sideways and making like this shitty backflip. And it took me like two months to learn it. Whereas uh, it could have taken me like a few days to learn it if I knew what to do. Um, like, I definitely recommend uh, getting two people to spot you and learn that way. There's, like, tons of videos on YouTube. It's, like, the backflip is so easy. Like, people think it's this hard thing, but, like, it's so damn easy to do. It's just, like, mentally tough to get over. Is Owen joining the Discord, or does he not have internet in his... <laughs> uh, he actually joined for, like, about 10 minutes and then... Probably got very triggered and left because everyone was making fun of him, uh, sending uh, pictures of his face and stuff because I had that own emoji like from the start. So he's probably just weirded out by it because like I, I remember when um, we first did the live stream, like the first very first live stream I did my YouTube channel. Um, he told me afterwards like he's like I'm never doing that again because like the people in the comments were just so weird. Have you heard about the five finger shoes? Uh, well, I know Jason Blah uses them, so I'm probably never going to use them. <laughs> What is your warm up routine like? Is it structured or do you just do enough warm up sets, reps until you feel warmed up enough for your working sets? Um, it really depends on the exercise. So, for me, like for playing jerks, I need to spend a lot of time warming up just because um, I find it difficult um, mobility wise for the front rack. So, I just spend a lot of time on that with the lower weights before moving up. Um, with squats, yeah, I do take um, longer than most people um, but for like an exercise like deadlift um, I barely warm up for that I can take big jumps and weights and for bench press it's the same like um, if I was doing like sets of 150 bench like today I actually did 60 kilos um, two sets 100 kilos one set 120 one set uh, 140 one set 150 and yeah, that's all I did and of course the reps uh, vary as a uh, move up. So it's, it's higher at the lower weights and then it's lower at the heavier weights. What was your training like during your bulk to hundred kg? Any differences in rep sets and exercises? Um, yeah, definitely. Like um, I say the biggest thing was like trying to like figure out like um, what technique I should use in the lifts because like my technique has to be changed. So. I spent a lot of time like trying to figure out like uh, the ideal stance for me and like snatch clean jerk and all that. Could you explain why technique would need to change when bulking? Yeah, of course. Like it's going to be harder to get into positions. Like, so for example, I'm getting weight now. Um, it's still difficult for me to wrap the bar in the clean. So if I gain even more body weight, I would definitely have to learn how to let go of the hook grip uh, during the clean and that's quite different. I will actually take quite a lot of time to learn how to do that. And like, uh, if you gain weight, like for example, if you build a bigger chest, um, your grip on the bar has to be wider for um, the deadlift or uh, clean. You know, there's, there's things like that to consider. Have you ever had any problems with pinched nerves from pushing the bar too high when squatting? Um, I actually had a really bad injury back in was it 2010, 2011? Um, I got a pinched nerve and that was from 
uh, thrown the bar up after a clean. Like I threw it up too high and just kind of caught it really strange. It was like 170 kilos. And yeah, I got like a pinch nerve in my back. And whenever I, I'd like sneeze, I would get like a shocking pain all the way down my ribs and everything. And I couldn't do anything at that point. Like even I remember lifting up like a bag off the floor. I could feel the pain. Um, so I just took like three months completely off training. I didn't even do like any like dumbbell exercises or uh, body weight exercises, nothing like that. And eventually it went away. So that was strange. But yeah, that, like during that time, that really sucked. And it happened again another time, but um, I only need to take like maybe three weeks off training. But yeah, pinch nerves definitely suck. But I never got it from pulling like the bar too high when squatting. That never happened to me. When do you test your vertical jump and 40 yard dash time? Um, I might make a video like that uh, soon. Um, I'm really focusing on training now. So um, like it's not anytime soon, probably like I don't know, a few months, hopefully. It'd be an interesting video just to test like my, um, I don't know, 30 meter uh, sprint time. Um, Maybe my like standing high jump or something would be funny. Because there's actually um, an athletics track uh, about like a 15 minute drive away from me. So that'd be a good place to film it. What's your take on split versus power jerk? I've seen you do power jerks in a few of your training videos before. Yeah, the reason I do power jerks is just for uh, more variation. Um, it's a faster lift. And the power jerks like, really teach you how to like drive straight up and down. Like you, there's like more room for air in the split jerk and less room for air for the power jerk. So I guess um, that's the advantage of doing the split. Like you can make a mistake but still recover from it. But if you make a mistake in the power jerk, you're not going to recover from it. Like if you like watch a lot of lifters do like uh, power jerks or squat jerks in competition, yeah, um, it's very inconsistent. It, it really is. What are your thoughts on CrossFit as a whole? How do you because it seems? You have brought more interest into Olympic lifts, or it's just whatever, just another sport. No, I, I definitely um, like that. It brought like people uh, into Olympic lifting, but uh, more so like people are aware of how like difficult um, like the snatch clean jerk is. Like if you just told a random person like, "Oh, I can snatch like 190 kilos," they're gonna be like, "Oh, what the hell does that mean? Like, what, what do you bench?" You know, that's they just don't know. Um, what it means like to snatch 190 kilos but um now more people are aware of like what the snatch and clean jerk are so that's definitely a good thing i'm against like drug testing i, I really am i don't think there should be any drug testing um it really just creates an unlevel playing field um like not to infer like drug use like it, if drug testing actually worked and if it caught everyone um that used i'd be all for it but with the way things work.